Okay, so uh, you've got uh, wealth, abundance and growth coming in for you, which is always good. Uh, there's a need for effective time management as well. So if you're procrastinating on some project, make sure that you're getting it out. So uh, this wealth and abundance card, really good. Make sure you're keeping all your secrets. So whatever you're doing, keep it under hat. Uh, don't go around um, telling everybody uh, what is going on with you uh, because, you know, energy gets spilled out. So, um, you know, you don't want them to scatter your luck if you like. So make sure you're keeping your secrets to yourself. In the past, you've uh, whatever you've been doing, you're pretty happy about it. So you've been quite successful of what you've been doing and you've been treading very carefully. So, you know, you've been watching what you've been doing and, you know, uh, not running into things very uh, um, rapidly. So there's some kind of legal issues that you need to sort out. You might be waiting for some kind of legal uh, decision, but something legal coming in for you here. Uh, it's also going to bring some kind of transformation because you've got the butterflies on this card over here. But your pl plans are progressing pretty nicely. There's a lot of growth going on. It might be slow growth, but it's gro growth nevertheless. So whatever you're doing is starting to bear fruit and it is progressing nicely. So, uh, these are the energies for those two weeks right so this is the uh, modern spell costas tarot and I'm going to do the main read with it So you've got the Seven of Pentacles as the first card over here. So this is investing a lot of time and effort into some kind of project that you're doing. Now, you haven't seen any returns yet. And I think maybe you're questioning whether or not this was a waste of your time. So you have been putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and you are waiting for some kind of payoff uh, from whatever you've been investing in. So whatever you've been working on, you want it to be a success. You haven't seen any success yet, but you're hoping that whatever it uh, you're doing is going to bring back some kind of reward, uh, be it financial, you know, something, maybe a promotion, something um, that you want to come in. And you're very focused on that. You can see this woman's really concentrating on putting in that water into that uh, pot plant. But it doesn't seem like it's grown just yet. So, you know, you're waiting for this to happen. Now, it looks like there is going to be some kind of payout coming for you because this is uh, the card of Six of Pentacles and this is receiving something. Uh, you know, this could be somebody giving you something. You may be receiving some kind of payoff from something, uh, you know, money coming in. You could even be getting a promotion, but something being handed to you, um, you know, and something unexpected as well. You never expected this generosity. So this is almost like the universe giving you a gift, if you like, with the Six of Pentacles. It looks like you were begging the universe for it and now it's going to be giving you that kind of uh, gift. So something definitely coming in and it looks, because it's the pentacle card, it's going to have, uh, you know, financial connotations. So if you've been going after a new job or you've been going after, you know, maybe there's a payoff that you, you were expecting that is definitely coming to you. And, uh, you know, You've got the five of swords over here. So you have been dealing with very difficult people as well. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, whatever you've been dealing with has probably led to this uh, situation where, you know, you've needed uh, that kind of help. So, you know, it seems like you've, you've just, you're emerging from that kind of situation. This could even be a legal situation. This could have been some kind of legal case that you were involved in that was, uh, you know, where you felt that you were defeated. But actually the outcome now seems to be that you, uh, you know, you will get some kind of payoff from it. So maybe you were dealing with something really nasty because the seven, Five of Swords is always about, you know, people uh, taking advantage of you, being lying, cheating, or a really nasty situation, vindictive behavior, uh, it, you know, where they, they seem like they have won. But if you look in this deck over here, the fox, the, the wolves are walking away and this person's running away. So this looks like you have won uh, and your winnings are going to be in the form of uh, financial remuneration. So it seems like, you know, the wolves are walking away. Whatever difficult situation is now, um, you know, coming to an end. 
and moving away from you. People seem to be moving away. All that nasty negative uh, energy seems to be going away and it looks like you are going to be receiving some kind of remuneration for whatever you've been through. So it was a very awful situation, but it looks like you're going to get a reward, an award from the universe for, uh, for it. Now, in the past year, you've been juggling finances. It seems like, you know, you've been trying to get that balance. There may have been somebody there to help you out financially, but you have been, uh, you know, you've been trying to get your money in order. You've been focused a lot on your work, so working a lot, trying to bring in the wealth. But, you know, um, you know, this man's standing on one foot over here. So just barely keeping your balance as far as your finances go. So that's been going on in, in the last year. You've been watching your money carefully as well. And maybe you are also working on two projects, like I said, and trying to find out, uh, you know, trying to prioritize as well on what you should spend your time or your effort on as well in this last year. So in the last three months, you've got this new project coming in. It's taking off slowly. This is the birth of that project. It hasn't it's in its infancy, as I said. You're putting out a lot of information or communication, you know, with everybody, um, with the world, really, because you've got these birds going out. So a lot of information going out from you, and it's starting to show, uh, you know, uh, development because you've got these leaves budding on it. So, you know, whatever you're putting out, whatever you've started is starting to show growth right now. So you're hoping that, you know, your fortune changes. Uh, you, whatever this situation you were dealing with was very toxic and you're hoping that goes away and you know you're hoping um, you know you get some truth revealed because you got on the top you've got this monkey that's blindfolded over here and the wheel of fortune has to chain to turn so you're hoping that whatever secrets or lies that we, you were dealing with gets revealed uh, or brought into focus or that people can see it really Now, what's happening with you? Going into the future, you've got this Ten of Wands. So you have been doing a lot of things and carrying a lot of responsibilities. And you can see, you know, it's having, it's taken its toll because it's blocked uh, you know, your vision. You can't really see where you're going in life. So you, you're you doing a lot of things, uh, hoping that one of it pays off, but you're really not sure which one is going to be. So you're doing all of it. You're carrying all the responsibilities, all the burdens, and it's really time for you to drop these load, this load. Um, you know, you can already see some of them are falling away from you. So some burdens are leaving you. I mean, some responsibilities are being taken away from you. Uh, but it's now time for you to drop this. This is the Ten of Wands. So this is uh, the end of that cycle of really hard work and a really hard slog. Um, but you need to drop it in order for you um, to see. Um, because, uh, you know, nobody else is around, so nobody else is going to come and lighten your load. You need to set down those burdens or those responsibilities. You either need to delegate or just, you know, cut it out from your life completely. Uh, do something new. Now, you've got the Three of Pentacles uh, uh, as uh, the card for you. This is showing you very focused on your work and very, very expert at your work. This is giving out information and giving it out as a teacher teaching others uh, by example. So, uh, you know, whatever you've done, you are um, an expert at it and people are coming to you for advice and help uh, and you, but you are still very, very focused. You can see this is an old man with a feather in his cap. So, you know, you know your, your stuff in and out. You're pretty good at it and people will be coming to you for advice and help. Um, and, you know, this is probably going to be the thing that generates the finance and it's going to allow you to save. You've got the squirrels over here. These trees are full of apples. So whatever you're doing is producing fruit. So, you know, you may not see it right now, uh, but whatever you're doing is starting to take off. It's starting to grow. And, um, you know, you are uh, being uh, held in high regard for whatever it is you're giving out over there. Now, the three of pentacles is, you know, doing something bigger than you. So it's like in, in the normal tarot, it's about building cathedrals uh, and collaborating with a lot of people. So this is probably where you're at. Whatever you're doing is bigger. You, it's a bigger vision than, than just, uh, you know, um, the whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. So it might seem like you're doing a small thing, but it's having a big impact on the world. You've got the magician card over here. So around you, people uh, see that, you know, you are transforming. You can see this snake is shedding its skin over here. So the old is being left behind and the new is coming in. And, you know, you are getting divine help as well. And whatever you're thinking, you're able to manifest. So as um, above, as, as was it above as below. So whatever sacrifices you have been making, so above as below. I think that's the thing. Um, so whatever sacrifices you've been making is coming. So whatever you're thinking, whatever the divine plan is, you're on the right path right now. So whatever you're doing, so be positive. 
uh, if you want to manifest. If you're thinking of a new job or you're thinking of a promotion or you're thinking of more money, it's good to have positive affirmations in order for you to manifest. And you are shedding aside that old person. So whatever hardships you went through, you're letting that go now and you're moving on to something new. You're moving on with more wisdom. Because although the snake is always associated with uh, negativity, in you know it represents uh, truth. In the Garden of Eden, it was truth uh, rather than being something negative. So you have come out with a new truth, and that has transformed you into something better or something different. Um, and you know it's allowed you or given you more power. This is a very powerful magician. You can see there's a. a um, lightning bolt above his head as well so this is a very powerful magician and very proactive he's wearing this red suit over here so very proactive so you are not sitting back and letting the grass grow under your feet you are making those sacrifices and you are bringing in what you need to bring in i think you are more in touch with your divine plan now than you've ever been so you are in a state of defense you are with the seven of wands is um you know defending and achieving and winning and that's what you hope to do so you're hoping to get rid of all those problems that you um had to encounter and you're over hoping to overcome them as well so going in the future you've got uh the five of wands so you might be dealing with people maybe you're working with a team of people uh, that don't get along and you know you're they don't listen to anybody or nobody's listening to anybody within in that team. There's a lot of bickering and arguing, um, you know, and maybe you're standing back and not getting involved in it. It seems like everybody doesn't want to see what other people's visions are, so that everybody's wearing blindfolds. There's this uh, bashing of sticks above, uh, below this hornet's nest, so, you know... Uh, if you had to intervene, uh, you know, maybe you, you're you the one that can see what can go wrong because of all this uh, dissent amongst them, but nobody wants to listen. So this, it's almost like an, something uh, nasty waiting to happen. So if it's, if you're involved in that kind of situation where, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, um, people are not very happy or, or they're very angry with each other or they get, you know, there's, there's a lot of fighting going on really or arguments going on, it's best to step away from it and allow them to, um, you know, um, uh, do whatever it is uh, as long as you don't get involved in it it seems like uh, you know uh, if you don't get involved you probably won't get stung by the, the wasps or bees uh, so rather than um, you know uh, uh, getting into a situation that will escalate into something that's not nice it's probably best for you to walk away from any kind of problems that you're having don't engage in arguments with people it looks like it's going to be a wasted effort so new money coming in for you with the ace of one uh, ace of pentacles so this could be a promotion a new job uh, something brand new starting but definitely new money and with the squirrel over here you can have abundance so that you can um you know put away things so this is um you know the beginnings of that of that new money or that new job you're starting off some new project as well but there's so much of abundance around it it's going to be something that pays well and something that gives you um extra so that you can put things away and you've got the four of wands over here so this is you know establishing um stability and this is also uh you know projects being very successful anything that you do is going to be very successful there's a lot of international communication with the four of ones meeting a lot of people there might be travel as well and this is also celebration uh so whatever you have uh, started is going to be very very successful with the four of ones cards and it also means there's a lot of international communication you know the four corners of the the world are you know uh displayed with these rods so you might be doing some traveling as well so that could be coming up for you but in yourself you're very stable and there's a lot of success with this card and whatever ideas you have or projects you are doing is going to be pretty successful so if you're carrying a lot of responsibilities like at work you should really uh, you know maybe delegate or drop those responsibilities because you don't want your vision you know you don't want to be uh, distracted by having too many responsibilities if you can delegate it to other people it is very important to do that because carrying all that stress is not good for your health so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Think and Grow Rich uh, Prosperity cards. And this is for inspiration. And uh, three cards from the Fairy Tarot. And that's the Oracle Read. Uh, 
Okay, so the first card is genius, and maybe this is how people are seeing your ideas and seeing what you've got to say. And this is probably why you're in this position where, you know, you, you're like a teacher, almost like a guru over there. So they are seeing the genius of whatever you've got to say. And you're exerting a lot of influence of pe over people. So you're coming across as that Three of Pentacles, exerting a lot of positive influence on people. And the last one is take courage. So you must have faith and have self-belief in order for you to succeed. So, you know, they're seeing you as that genius. They're seeing you as having somebody with a lot of influence. And you do need to have the courage to, to make things happen. So don't back down from any kind of, um, you know, if there's any challenge, don't back down. So you've got the two of summer over here, which says um, don't give up. Uh, and uh, there is a resolution of any problems that you're going through. So there might be somebody that you're working with who's going to be very helpful, and you know, you're going to be able to get through any problems, but don't give up. You'll be able to sort things out. The Seven of Summer says, uh, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision, confusion that arises from overanalyzing options. So with the Seven of Summer, it's like the Seven of Cups. You need to make a decision and um, you know, stop procrastinating. Put plans in action, have a plan, put it in action, and go for it. And the last card is the Ten of Autumn, which says, take steps to ensure financial security of your children and loved one, making wise investments or planning a retirement honoring family traditions. So the 10 of autumn is the 10 of pentacles, and this is a card of achievement. So you will achieve everything that you want. This is also a card of achieving, you know, property, financial success, maybe inheritance as well coming in for you over here, but definitely a card of achievement. So you are on the right track. It looks like whatever you're going to do, you know, the four of wands, you know, it's talking about home and stability. And you've got the 10 of autumn over here, which is talking about home and stability. So you are getting to that place of, of stability. Um, you know, Taurus has been um, unstable for a long time now, but that is coming in the stability and home. You might be buying a home. You might be acquiring property as well. And that's definitely coming in for you. And it looks like there is new money coming in as well. And whatever you're putting out there, people are seeing you're exerting a lot of influence because whatever you're saying is coming across as being very genius as well. Any kind of uh, arguments or disagreements, walk away from it. It's better not to engage in it. Uh, you know, you might as well take uh, your ideas and give it to somebody else who will listen. And you are in a manifestation period right now, so make sure you are thinking very positively and have a vision as well. And that is the only way you can manifest. And with the snake over here, there's a lot of transformation that has happened, but you are now more enlightened than you ever were. So I hope that uh, this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.